He just yanked the whole tube out of the belly, cleaned out the crusty bile, and sewed it up. It was simple. What a cute story. Would you be offended if I vomited? <laughs> Guys, I would like you to meet my brother, Abe. Hi, Abe. We've been wondering why Hank's family hasn't come to visit. Because he makes us nauseous. <laughs> Honestly, I hate this. I don't know how you can work around all these vile things. Hey, watch it. They happen to be my friends. <laughs> Did I hear you say that this is your brother? Yes, Gina, this is Abe. Kaplan family is very proud of him. Successful guy, got his own business. Creo que nunca he visto una mujer tan linda. <laughs> Great. Uh, apparently he also speaks Spanish. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. But for the first time in my life, I find myself attracted to a man. I made you some of my special chimichangas. I wish I had known your brother was staying with you. I would have made more. You know, a gift of food is a gift from the heart. Coincidentally, these come from the heart of a pig. Well, thank you, Gina. Abe, I have a feeling we'll have more than enough for the both of us. Hey, it's the lab. Oh, uh, I gotta take that. I'll be back in a second. You know what? I love chimichangas. Oh, really? Oh, well, they're a big favor where I come from. And where do you come from, Gina? I travel a lot. Maybe I've been there. Oh, no, I don't think so. It's not a great place to visit. They have desperate men there who kidnap the tourists and demand huge ransoms from their family back home. Get out of here. Oh, no, it's true. As a matter of fact, it was my village that came up with the slogan, my grandparents went to San Pequeño and all I got was this lousy ear. <laughs> Dr. Riskin, please. It's you should have seen it. This guy had an abscess. You could put your thumb in, <laughs> which I actually have to do, by the way. <laughs> okay, one more, and I swear I'm calling Mom. <laughs> Frank, I have some good news. Your brother has asked me to join you both for lunch. Lunch? Well, I, I can't have lunch. I told you I have a conference. Oh, that's right. What's wrong with me? So I'll pick you up at 12. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you, uh... Well, of course, I mean, if you can have lunch with Gene alone. Unless you would rather that we wait. No, 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 go. I don't care. No, have fun. Sure, Gina. After all, dos pueden comer más barato que tres. Oh. <laughs> you gonna let him call you that? Hey. hey, there you are. I didn't see you last night. What time you get in? You know, I lost track of the time. It was 2.15. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it was. <laughs> Gina's something else. Mm. I can't believe she worked here under your nose all this time. You never did anything about it. I have a feeling things could really work out between us. Work out between you? Mm. What, you falling in love with her? No, I mean, I have a feeling I can get her into bed. Well, you, you can't do that. You don't even know her. You don't care about her. Hanky, what is it with you? You don't have to be in love first. Sometimes you sleep with somebody and you find love. Other times you have to wait until they fall asleep so you can hang drop from the fire escape. Hey, I don't do that. No, because God forbid you should take a risk. Hank, you're too cautious. You never learned how to loosen up, to laugh, throw a baby in the air. That's not true. I'm laughing all the time. I'm a laughing man. I'm always laughing and I'm constantly throwing babies in the air. All I'm saying is I know something you don't and that is how to seize the day. Carpe carp, if you know what I mean. Abe, seize the day is carpe diem. Carpe carp is seize the carp. See, everything's by the book with you. Abe, Abe, she's not going to sleep with you. She hasn't, she, she has never. She's not that type of a girl. Well, let's just say that by tomorrow night, she will be. So how's that fish? Oh, it's very good for fish. You don't like fish? Oh, very much. Wait, you don't like fish very much or you very much like fish? Oh, I'm not very much like fish. <laughs> well, personally, I like fish. Oh, I should think that you like fish very much for you talk a great deal about fish and of course I can see that you have ordered the fish. Yes, yes I have and, and it's very good. Four fish. 
So, Gina, tell me. Oh, please, God, don't let this be about fish. <laughs> no, no, I, I was going to say, tell me about... Hank? No. No, I think we've talked quite enough about Hank. I was going to say, let's talk about you. Oh, well, of course, what's the matter with me? <laughs> well, I work with Hank. <laughs> um, yeah, you both mentioned that. Oh, really? What has he told you about me? Only that you're a very sweet and gentle person, which I can really see. Really sweet, gentle? Sweet and gentle are the words a man would use to describe the mother of his children. <laughs> children we will hypothetically call Enrico, Maria, and Hank Jr. Gina, I'm beginning to get the idea here that maybe you're a little preoccupied with my brother. If that's the case, hey, just say... let's call him. <laughs> you really care about Hank, don't you? He's okay. Not really. He's special to you, isn't he? Perhaps I try to think not, but yes, he is very much so. I can't deny it. Well, you know what? He's special to me, too. And if you're that crazy about him, maybe we should just finish this up and call it a night, what do you say? Thank you. That would be very nice. <laughs> All right, Mr. Big Shot. Let go of the hand. Hank. Let me tell you something, Brother Abraham. <laughs> this woman is not a trophy. This woman is not something you defile or deflower just because you want to live life to the fullest. She is a real human being, a wonderful human being. You don't just have fun with Gina. You have a relationship with her because that's what she deserves. So you're going to take her home right now, mister. The meal is over. <laughs> Hang. No, no, Abe. The meal is over. <laughs> Hank, what are you doing? Seize the carp, Abe. It's time for me to seize the carp.